Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Today we're going to show you how to replace the timing chain on a the 3.0 engine which is used in the Ford Escape, Mercury, Mariner or Mazda 6, MPV, Tribute, all of those. They have about the same engine and the timing chain procedure is about the same. So what we need to do first, you need to go on the crankshaft right there and you need to make sure that the key is in 3 o'clock position, like that. Next thing that we need to remove is the tensioner for the, for the left side of the engine, as you can see right there with a 10 millimeter socket, two bolts, you need to take those off. What happened in our case, the, the motor jumped, the, the timing chain, chain jumped because one of the tensioners was malfunctioning and the timing is off now. So we got the whole kit to replace everything, the timing chains, bolt, ch timing chains, the tensioners and everything that we need to do that. Okay, here are the two bolts loose. Okay, as you can see, it's out, it's spring loaded, so you come off easy. Like that, this is the timing chain tensioner right there with the two bolts, that's the old one. Now we will need to remove the tensioner arm, like that, just pull it out. And what we need to do now, we need to pull the timing chain off the sprocket everywhere, okay, from the bottom and the top. Okay, it came out and now we will need to remove the chain guide which is with a 10 millimeter socket again. It has two bolts, one on the bottom right there, 10 millimeter, and one on the top right underneath the sprocket. Okay, and this is the top one right there. Again, with the 10 millimeter socket, we need to remove both of them and the the chain guide should come out of there with no problem at all. Yeah, okay. And here is the old tensioner guide. Okay, the next step, as you can see, turn the crankshaft clockwise, one and two thirds revolution. The crank pulley keyway should be at 11 o'clock position again. And ours is at 11. Like, like that right there and when you do that one and two thirds revolution just go slow make sure that you not hit any valves because if you jump the timing chain your your valves might not be aligned so just go slow and if if something stops you do not put any pressure on it and now this is the timing chain diagram you should have the marks for the exhaust for the intake cam right there and the exhaust cam right here Okay, and as you can see ours, that's where the mark is, this one is perfect and this one is off by 3 or 4 teeth, which means that this is the one that the timing chain jumped. And now again the same procedure. Now we will need to remove the tensioner with a 10 millimeter socket and two bolts, just these two bolts right there, take them off all the way. Okay, this is the second bolt for the tensioner and it's pre-loaded again so it will move out of there and oil will leak out of it because those are hydraulic tensioners. Okay, right there and the next thing that we will need to do, we need to remove the tensioner arm, you just pull it out of there and the timing chain guide which is right there with two 10 millimeter bolts again okay timing chain and the timing chain guide after that okay these two bolts are right there okay and removing the second bolt and the guide is right out of there okay now you need to take the bolt out of there if you're replacing the the timing chain gear on the bottom the crankshaft gear and you just slide it out of there and this is the new one that we have and you need to make sure that it's the same one sometimes they might even send you a wrong one so always double check before putting it together okay, okay now you just 
push it in, slides right there. And now you just install the bolt, but do not get it tight. All you will need the bolt right now is for turning the crankshaft so we can install bolt timing chains. And we will need to remove it again after that. Okay, now this is the new chaming, uh, time chaming guy. <laughs> time chain guy. Right there with the two bolts, 10 millimeter bolts. This is the one for the front side. And that's the first thing that we will need to install right there before we install the timing chain on the front cylinder head. So make sure that it goes right there good and just tighten the two bolts. Do not leave them for later, make sure they are tight because if you leave them for later you might forget about it and if they are loose from the vibrations they will get loose and you will ruin the engine. Okay, now you need to make sure that the timing marks are right here and there on the on the Okay, that okay, they need to be just like that. And now we are ready to just push the chain and install. So we have those marked teeth right now. We have three of them. The short side should be the one for the top that goes on the. Okay, right there, on the timing, on the camshaft. It should be 12 links between both of them. Okay, and this is, it's hard to show you, this is the mark tooth right here. It needs to line up with that mark. And the other one is right there, this one. And on the bottom, on the crankshaft, it should be right here. Okay, aligning with this mark. Next thing we'll need to install the tensioner arm, right there, it goes in the glide, you cannot get it wrong. And you need to install the two 10mm bolts holding it. And those are the new tensioners right here, you should have the pin in it, if you do not you can use a vise and compress it and put a paper clip or a wire or something and pull it out after after you install it but it needs to be there compressed before you install it so you can put it there okay we install the tensioner and all we need to do now is tighten the two 10 millimeter bolts on the tensioner and now we need to pull that safety pin right there for the tensioner you just pull it out like that and we are ready to do the other side, the rear side, the rear head. Okay, now we need to rotate the crankshaft to 3 o'clock where the keyway, it's at 3 o'clock position. Okay, we passed it a little bit so we need to go back. Okay, now we need to install the chain guide with a 10 millimeter bolts, two bolts. Recommend to use a new one if you purchase the whole kit. We got it on eBay for about $102. Made in USA, very inexpensive compared to purchasing a brand new one from Ford. Okay, this is for the rear side of the engine. And that's where the intake mark is, right here in the exhaust. So it will be hard to show you again the color of the different colors of the teeth. Okay, right there, this is one of them and the other one is on the back side. You just make sure you align them and on the bottom you should have the tooth coming right there, the painted one. And now we are ready to install the tensioner arm. Like that, you just go in the glide there. There is only one way you can get it on. Okay, you need to get the chain on top of it and there is no bolts or anything holding this one. And next you need to install the tensioner with the two 10 mm bolts. Again, the safety pin should be inside of it and just tighten the two bolts. Okay, we got the tensioner tightened already there with the two bolts that are with 10 mm socket and now we need to pull the safety pin right out of there. Okay, and this is it. all we need to do now, just put everything back together. We do not have a video on our channel about that because it will be way too long. 
and that's how we do the timing on the Ford or Mercury Mazda with the 3.0 engine most of them are the same like that just double check that it's the same engine that you have before you proceeding with it thank you guys for watching us if you have any questions let us know don't forget to subscribe for about five new videos and give us a like